on, let's go outside, let's take a walk in the sun. There are things to learn and things to see, a big wide world for you, your dog, and me. Dog Talk. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dog Talk. I'm Pat Becker, and we have a, such a fun show for you today. Lisa James is with us today, and I understand you brought this precious little pup with you. Maggie Mulligan is here, who is your friend and your groomer, as a matter of fact, and my co-host for today. As everybody knows, Marilyn King, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Happy to be here. And we are so glad to see you. As, as I say, everyone knows that you are the OKC Pets and the Tulsa Pets magazine yes. lady <laughs> and uh, you do such a fabulous job and we appreciate you. you being a sponsor of this show as a matter of fact so maggie you called me and said pat there's a dog you have to see That's she said right. this is the sweetest cutest dog she is darling and you are her groomer uh-huh and so tell me lisa now this tell me her her breed now you said it was a combination and i can see palm and Maybe a little Maltese or something. Is you that have it right, Pat? Is She's that a multi palm? A, a multi palm. <laughs> <A multi -pom. laughs> well, I tell you, it never ceases to amaze me what people can come up with. But this combination <laughs> is adorable. And while she is a little bit nervous about this, I can see she's got a beautiful collar and she has an excellent groomer. So. <laughs> What are, what are you going to do today? Are you going to take this dog? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to give her a little mini makeover. Uh -huh. She's going to um, get a new style, I think. Excellent. So, and you know, yeah. we, had, we have told our viewers out there that uh, if they were thinking about getting a makeover for their dog to give us a call, give us a holler, mm -hmm. Facebook, whatever it is, yep. email, and let us know, and we'll get Maggie Mulligan out here to do a makeover that what okay. fun is that? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to let you take take this baby with you. Yes, and uh, now, what is her name? Her name is Princess Little Bear Sable uh, James. Oh, <laughs> she goes by Sable. She goes by Sable. So the others are like uh, just she just doesn't even care for the princess thing or what? Well, I mean, she's she a princess. Like a princess. Yes. And when so, she was a puppy, she looked very much like a little bear. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm I'm really it astounds me that she has any hair left the way she gets. <laughs> <laughs> and that is very loving, and I, I, I just, I'm, I'm astounded that you haven't brought her in before because she is so precious. She we love is. the precious ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're, we're going to let you take her. Now, I would like to, before you, before you take her and everything, I would like to give you the Dog of the Week Award. <gasps> Because Maggie tells me that you deserve this absolute oh wonderful award. Oh this is a $100 oh. gift certificate to A1 Pet Emporium, one of our other sponsors. Thank you. And I have brought all kinds of little toys oh and things. Oh, 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 what happened what here? What's that? <laughs> Where is that? Lucky what you're going to Did gonna we wake you up? up? Yes. Lucky. Yeah, I'm going to give that to Mommy. Oh, Lucky what And we got. have so many others. We have a lot of other. <laughs> other to toys and food for her and uh, we're going to take a quick break and while Maggie does her thing we'll be right back thank you Pat A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats quality does not have to cost more and we only have the best if your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. It's always so much fun to have one of the rescues with us. And Lacey is here with Safe Haven. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And these precious puppies that you have are adorable. <laughs> They're great. And of course, yes, now Bentley is saying, excuse me, Pat, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm over here. Connie Hess, how are you? Good. And Bentley, of course, is a, is a magazine cover star. Uh, Bentley is a, an old English sheepdog, which has been clipped. And, and I hope we can get a picture of him. Can you stand him for yeah, me a minute and, and turn him around toward maybe the facing the camera? Can I, there no, we go. Can I? <laughs> he <laughs> says, I don't know what you want, but it's pretty strange what you're doing. Now, this is, a, this is an old English sheepdog who has been clipped. Now, a lot of people will say you shouldn't do that because they have light eyes and because, you know, it's a, there's a danger with the sun and all of this kind of stuff. But for a dog, 
dog that is uh, taken care of so well and guarded and taken in the house. This is a darling clip. They have beautiful eyes. Yes. They really do. But of yes. course, you know, being herding dogs, you know, when you're out like that, you have to have a presence of, uh, you know, of being a, a protector. So the, actually the hair kind of helped that. Um, so we are, we are so glad that you have brought him, and he is so precious. And I might add that you are, we have made Bentley our dog of the week. So oh, we are so pleased, cool. and we're going to give you a $100 gift certificate to A1 oh, Pet Emporium. And Bentley, who has been trying to get over here, I'm just going to go ahead and let him, what do you see in there, Ben? What do you see in there? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Is that going to get you? Yeah, You'd like I that? Like toys. Oh, get that. Yes, yes, yes. Get that toy. Yes, get that toy. Is that yours? <laughs> well, look here, Bentley. I've got something even better. Oh, ah! yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, no, I see something better, and it <laughs> smells good. So I'm going to hand that to here. your mama, and she Come can here. deal with that. Come here. Get up here. Here you go. <laughs> Thank because there are good things to eat in there, and they, the uh, gift certificate to A1, you'll find a tremendous amount of things that are in there for you. So, so tell me... Um, Lacey, what's happening at Safe Haven? What's going on? In general, yeah. um, well, we do we do adoption outreaches every weekend. Uh -huh. We're constantly looking for fosters. We have hundreds of animals in foster. Uh, we pull primarily from the shelters, mm -hmm. and occasionally take some pretty hard cases. Um, and that's one of the great things about this rescue, I think, is that they will spend a lot of money to to make absolutely. An animal well. And let's let's discuss fostering because I am so enthused by everybody uh, volunteering to do this. When you foster, what is your process in fostering? Uh, depending on what kind of dog it is or what kind of cat, uh, and, and that's based on the preference of the person. Some people right. like little dogs or a specific breed or big dogs or birds or whatever, uh, and we'll cater to that. Typically they have to be in the rescue for two weeks, and that's just a quarantine period to make sure that mm -hmm. no diseases break out that they've picked up at the shelter. If they're like these guys I got when they were two weeks old with their mother, so I've had wow. to have them long enough that they could you know, grow up enough to be spayed and neutered because they all have to be spayed and neutered before they're adopted out. Um, and then we do all of the medical that needs to be done before they're adopted. So it can be anywhere from two weeks to several months yeah and then and, and when you it. foster a dog you take the dog into your home and into your heart and you treat it as as one of Absolutely. yours as one of the family and this gets the dog relaxed this you can teach the dog things so that it makes them much more adoptable Absolutely. and it, you have to remember folks this there's so much that is necessary in going on with getting a dog adopted and when that dog has been in foster care it will be much more adoptable so you mm -hmm. give it a chance when you do this and you don't this is not an obligation thing where you keep the dog forever. However, <laughs> there are some foster failures that go on. I'm just one here. <laughs> so I understand about those. I stopped fostering because of that. Now I just foster the fosterers. So uh, we are so pleased that you did come. And we would like to give you a, a donated check of $500 to Safe Haven Excellent. for you, you to take. Hope Excellent. that it will, will help in some way. Absolutely. Now, Marilyn, tell us about the mag new magazine cover coming up. What we do every year is auction off our magazine cover, and the auction is online at okcpetsmagazine.com. And it's, it just started yesterday. The auction will run through May 31st. And the high bidder at the end of the auction puts his or her pet on the cover, and all the proceeds will go to Safe Haven. We pick a different nonprofit animal rescue every year. So this is our second year to do this in OKC. And we also have a new feature that if anybody wants to match even ten dollars or twenty dollars. Um, you, there's a place on the or a thousand dollars. Yeah, or two thousand sure. dollars. Uh, <laughs> you can you can also fill out a matching form, and if you don't want to participate in the auction, and just your proceeds will also go to Safe Haven. Yes, so. you know, and I remember last year too. I just said, you know, I want to give this amount of money. So if it gets up over that. You know that's fine, but I think it I think it helps promote it too. So you can do that, and and it's an exciting thing because it is a bidding war, and it's I just fun. I it's just fun. love it. I just love it. And your the magazine covers Bentley, of course. Bentley always looks good on a magazine cover, don't you, Ben? <laughs> you do. He says I'm the checking handsome. out these camera pen over here. 
I love it. Well, we appreciate so much you bringing. Yes, you could be my dog. I could take you any time. Oh, good kisses. Thank you, Bentley. Yes. So um, we thank everybody, really. Thank Safe you. Haven, thank you for what you do. God bless you all. You know, it's just wonderful. And Connie, I just, like I say, anytime you're ready to uh, move on from this dog, I will take him in an instant. Not a chance. <laughs> and actually, I'm delighted you said that because my husband probably would go crazy. She said, well, Pat, I'd like to try it. Could I just try it for a few months? Yes, yeah, you can. Yeah. You come and play in he my just park anytime. To go play with your dog. Exactly. He would love that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, guys, and we'll be right back. Hey, do you like dogs? I bet you do. You're watching Dog Talk, and you like Dog Talk. Do you like technology? Well, then follow us on Facebook, Dog Talk TV. Of course, all of us on Dog Talk are so interested in artists and their concepts of portraying animals, and especially, of course, dogs. And one on our staff, Michelle Sechrist, saw Bill McCauley's and saw his work and was so impressed by it. So she, I sent her down to, to get some uh, video on it, a footage of you, you know, doing some of these yeah. things, and it was really interesting to us. And. Um, your studio, uh, everything that you do is so, so exciting because you deal in a, in a media that is different from that which we are, you know, usually, uh, usually see. So how did you choose stones to put uh, these things on? Well, my wife's the one who made me start doing them. <laughs> She's the one who actually seen them. We, they're in the, they were in the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Illinois River in uh -huh. the northeastern part of Oklahoma. So these stones you pulled out of the river. They're, well, they're kind of river stones. The ones I started with are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And these here, I get them from a friend of mine, uh -huh. and they split them and cut them and do all of that. So it's, it's, it's so exciting because you do a lot of different things. I see you have some dream wheels that, that you yeah. do. and. Uh, uh, you, you take such good time with them, and I know that each of them uh, has got a story about it, and that's what impressed yes. me so much. And I think, you know, being Native American, all of it, you can feel the, the element in here uh, of the earth, of the sky, of the yeah. animals and everything, and I can see in your work, and your art, too, you know, is so definitive of your feelings. Of course, uh, you do eagles, and I, I love I love the eagles and relationship and all of this kind of thing. We went down and visited an eagle um, sanctuary called Sia, uh, that is very interesting. But your artwork is just lovely, and I, I'm just I'm so impressed with the colors and things that you use. So, how long have you been an artist? Uh, I've been painting. Actually, I painted when I was a little kid. Really? And I just never really. I'd paint and then I'd quit, uh -huh. paint and quit, and paint and quit. And, and then decided quit. to keep on painting. Yeah, and so paint. let me ask you a question then. You are uh, a Native American. From which area? From which? Okay, I'm a citizen of the Muscogee Creek tribe. From the Creeks? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. And they're Excellent. from around Okmulgee. Uh huh. Excellent. So let me ask you about these uh, rocks that we have here. What exactly are they made of? What is this rock? Slate. It's slate. So slate sort of lends itself to being to the painting episode. So you you choose the the slate and do you is it black or do you paint this? Is this? It's black. Uh huh. It's it is just black slate. And and so your wife kind of encouraged you to to paint on these. Yes. Uh huh. And so yeah. she is she creative also? Yes. Yeah, she she actually went to Northeastern on it was. And she was working on her art degree over there, and, uh -huh. and I, so, I was I was talking with her, and we kind of got into the deal of uh, she doing helped, something she helped different. Me under, she helped me understand what I was doing. Exactly. Oh, that's wonderful. So she is really she helps you so much. She's she's like a manager. Isn't she? When I talk yeah. with her, she said, "Oh, we'll be there. Oh, we can do that. I can get my husband here, uh, like most women." Marilyn, what do you think? Oh, they're beautiful. Absolutely, I love the medium of the slate, and 
and the, the animals on and it, the you know, and the yes. dogs, of course, it, it's just, it's... They're all lovely, lovely. Oh, they, they are just beautiful. So I was talking to Marilyn, and I thought, you know, this might be a, a little something that we could, article yeah. we could put in her magazine. Absolutely. Yeah. Would that be nice? We'll have to get your wife and her together, won't sure. we? Sure, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm just amazed, and, and it, it is so beautiful. And I was wondering about, what, what, for some of the charges of some of these, what do these kind of run if, if people want to buy them? I Actually, some of the simple ones, they start out at 30, and just, they go up from there. Well, I, you know, I would love it and if you would, if I could consign you. I've got a couple dogs that I would love to have in this kind of media presented mm -hmm. this way. Could you do that? I can show you pictures yeah. of the dogs, and you can do that. Actually, I see you've got a pointer down here. I've got several pointers that yeah. I would love to do that, and, and several, several dogs. So could we negotiate on that? Yeah, well, I, I put a Michael Martin Murphy on one. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, this, this, cool. is, this is just great. We appreciate yeah. it so much. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we only have the best. If your pet suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, or hair loss, it may be the result of their diet. A1 Pet Emporium can help. We offer pet portraits monthly, adorable rescue animals every Saturday from noon to four, and free dog and cat food samples. Locally owned and operated, we want to be your neighborhood pet store. You know, artists, there again, I am so involved with people who know how to put on canvas the soul of an animal. Am I right? I mean, this is, this is incredible. And Ryan Williams, of course, is here with us today. And you will, my audience will remember Ryan from past times that, I, you know, uh, you are astounding, my dear. Thank you, Pat. Absolutely Thank you. astounding. And you know, we I sent a, a videographer over to your studio to kind of let people see, because you've got a, a place that you have set up a business now. And we wanted to be sure and bring that to, uh, to everyone's attention. And this, your office is just, uh, it is amazing with the, the beautiful pictures and paintings that you have. And I think everyone will agree, it's just, you have that touch. and. Um, you know, how does this happen? How do you create such beauty like this? Well, I've been working at it for years and years, trying to perfect it. So uh, it's just a passion, and, and I have that passion, and I just want to show it to other people. And of course, the, my first interest with, with it is, is the animals and the, the people you do. I mean, it's extraordinary. Look at this, it's oh, yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing. But uh, the animals, you know, uh, just, uh, thrill me the way that you capture them and the they are so real but there again as I have said so many times since you when you were on my show you do bring out the soul in each of these animals and you can just see it you can just feel it and so I uh, I was going to try to get some video and show us how you did that so we got a little bit of your uh, ex expertise here and, and showing us. And uh, you have this wonderful way of, with faces, with human faces, you know, and talk about soul. When I go in your studio, I look at some of these paintings and I think, that person really likes me, or that person's very suspicious. I can tell there's something in there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and yep. it is just, it is so wonderful. How do you get the, uh, uh, the texture and the color and everything? How do you do that? It, it's I just, usually just look at, uh, I take it from a photo, uh -huh. and um, I just increase the... Um, it's the, like pigment almost, you know, I can, right. just, I can just see it, and it's just, it's astounding that as, when we were in your uh, studio, you get so focused, it's like a bird dog on point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, uh, you know, shepherd dog kind of doing his thing. It, it's just, it's, it's very interesting for me. But, you know, uh, the, the thing that I really, uh, really do appreciate it, a couple, when you were on the last time, which was how long ago? Oh, it was a, uh, a few months ago. A yeah. few months ago. And uh, you said to me, there was a dog out there that I really thought was interesting and you'd like to do a painting of. And I said, which one was it? And you said, it's that great big dog with the long ears. And I said, that's Rebel. That's my treeing walker hound. So I said, sure, go ahead and do that. So you did. Now, the interesting thing about it is that uh, 
Rebel has congestive heart failure, and I really don't expect him to survive the month. Um, and it's, I'm, it makes me very sad, uh, you know, every time I lose a dog, and I have had so many. But it is, it's hard, is it not? Oh, it is, very. And uh, you just struggle through the facts of wanting to take care of them, wanting them to live longer. And, you know, it's not within our hands sometimes to do that. We don't have the power to save them all. They don't live long enough. And, and with Rebel, Rebel has always been a dog that uh, loved to, to run across the park. And of course, in treeing walker hounds, they look up for the, all the raccoons or the squirrels or what have you, mm -hmm. you know, and they really go after it. So I really do appreciate it. And in this particular painting, which is him, it just looks so much like him, and I will treasure it forever. Thank you. you know, Thank I you. just, I wanted to, to bring you on and to, to show this painting because uh, the timing couldn't have been better. He is in good health in this painting, and this is how quickly that they they can uh, they can go down, as they say. But we appreciate it so very, very, very much. So tell us, you you now you have uh, this thing going on, and you had mentioned to me with with the new uh, building and everything that you wanted to maybe do some art for some of the rescues. Do you feel? Feel that way still? Yes, absolutely. Well, what um, was I like your to plan? to give back to uh, a lot of the rescues and, and with the course, with the, the animals. animals as well. So, what what would you suggest? What would you tell them? Um, I would like to offer the the space to be able to do any kind of uh, events or silent mm -hmm. auctions, um, as well as my artwork as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I had a thought that if you did a painting of a certain dog. Uh, I would like to have maybe some prints made, if possible, and auction those prints off or sell those prints. Could we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Is that possible? Absolutely. Well, I, yeah, because I think this would be good. Another way to raise some funds, you know, for some of the rescues, and it would be viable, would it not, to absolutely. do that? Absolutely. Well, I and Rebel would like to do that. So <laughs> then the, if, you, if you do uh, connect with one of the rescues, will you let us know? And then what we can do is just... We'll say that you know this painting, uh, you know, uh, can auction it off, and uh, I will I will pay for the prints. Okay. So we will do that. Well, That's thank you so Pat. much for coming you in. Much. Your studio is wonderful. Now, where is it located? It's on located on Western, yes. 6900 Northwestern, uh, between Wilshire and 63rd. Yes. So you invite people to come in and look around and Absolutely. what have you. And they I highly come. recommend it. Oh, now, this yes. is when you look around you've and got to, uh, you've got watch to me see work this. as well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would be that would be wonderful. It is a, a joy, uh, such an experience, and we appreciate it so much. So we are going to. Uh, Toss to Ted. Ted has a follow-up. What you got, Ted? All right, thanks, Pat. We are back here with Lisa, her dog Sable, and Sable stylist, I would say, Maggie, because <laughs> she's got quite a little style right. here. What does it take to look this beautiful? A lot of brushing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of brushing with um, a coat like Sable's. Like we said, she's a Maltese Pomeranian okay. mix. So she's got a lot of that silky Maltese hair that tends to tangle. Mm -hmm. So um, Lisa and Jack, her, her little owners, her uh -huh. mommy and daddy do a great job at home brushing, which is so important. Now, to what kind of brush comb. at home do you use? Lisa, what, what, what do you use on uh, Sable? Well, I have found Not that, a comb. No, it's okay. a, kind of a round brush with little longer bristles and that gives her a little massage and gets oh. all the way down to her skin and she likes that. So it's like a t whole TLC kind of thing. Absolutely. A little love oh, and care. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So when, when Sable comes in, about how long does it take to look this beautiful? Well, from start to finish, probably about 30 minutes oh, for, okay. for a dog this small. Um, so it's not a spa day. Well, <laughs> I think she thinks it is. She always falls asleep on the grooming table. So, um, but yes, yeah, she comes in. She gets her mani pedi. We do her toenails, and um, it's so important to keep their nails nice and short. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, I need. I could use that right now. <laughs> Pat and Marilyn, we're going to come back in and probably ask way better questions than I ever do. But uh... well, no. I, you know, I was just uh, amazed that. I mean, this little dog was a little scraggly looking, you know, but it was okay because. She 
she's got the personality and the look for it, so I was accepting. And she says, oh, Pat, it was such a good experience. <laughs> yes, it was. So I, but, you know, th so she looks, she does look different. She just looks so trim and slim. And, and a bow and on top. <laughs> so let me ask you then, Lee, does she know that how pretty she looks? I think she does, although she doesn't like to stay looking pretty very long. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, she, I'm sure she takes advantage of the time, but doesn't she look beautiful? Just gorgeous. <laughs> Just absolutely gorgeous. Well, we appreciate so much you bringing her in. Yes, Sable, can you come back and see us sometime? Can you we do that? She says, to. I will. If, if Maggie Mulligan is going to be here to work on me, then I can <laughs> So let me ask you then, Maggie, how often does this dog need uh, grooming like this? About every six weeks or so, five to six weeks, um, especially since um, her parents do a great job of brushing her at home. Uh -huh. um, that way I can just come in, do a nice haircut and help with the maintenance. So how often do you brush her then? I brush her every day. Ah, oh. excellent. Well, she, a you got yeah, a good she has table. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> she has kind of a silky uh, coat here. So mm -hmm. does, does a does. dog like this, does she have undercoat? I can't tell. Not this. really. Not it's just much. a really thick, silky coat. silky coat. Again, it's that Pomeranian Maltese, so it's mm -hmm. kind of her own coat. On her own thing, style. absolutely. But, well, it yeah. doesn't look like a, a, a very stressful job because she is so small. <laughs> but I, you had uh, mentioned to me that, that she is uh, your husband's little sweetie pie. Yes. So does he so. does he engage in any of the grooming? He enjoys it not quite as often as I do. You know how that is. <laughs> Typ typical, um. typical deal. Well, she is adorable and we Thank appreciate you. it. So guys, remember now, if you want to get your dogs groomed, have a makeover, you know, you let us know and we'll get Maggie out and we'll do it on the show Absolutely. and have a great deal yep. of fun doing it. <laughs> it was. Maggie, thank you so much because Absolutely. it's always a pleasure having you. Ted, this was an experience, wasn't it? I learned they, some stuff. I, I usually do. <laughs> so so your dog doesn't every have time. this kind yeah. of hair, but you know, do yeah. you groom your dog every day? Yeah. <laughs> every day. Uh, the hesitation says it all. I know, I'm caught red handed now. Yeah. <laughs> Marilyn, thank you so much. It's always so good to see you. Lisa, thank you so thank much. You, Pat, and so you much. bring her back. She is a joy. Thank and Maggie, you. we'll probably see you sooner. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's been great, has it not? What I a had super fun. show. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was it was nice to meet you, Sam. It was fabulous. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> guys, you know, take care. Let us know what you'd like to see. If you'd like your, your dog groomed, if you'd like to be the dog of the week, we have so many issues. Tell us if, the, if it's a special issue that you'd like. We'll do it. Yeah. Will we not? Okay. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No. about big dogs, uh-huh, talking about little dogs, oh yeah, chasing the ball, chasing the cat, digging hole, thing like that, dogs, talking about dogs, laughing dogs, sad dogs, happy dogs, mad dogs, dogs, just talking about dogs, lost and alone, running the street, checking the garbage, looking to eat, out there sad and on their own The law will get them if they got no home Dogs Talk about dogs Dogs We're talking about dogs You say they were angels sent from above Then a year or two later you fell out of love You dumped them man and kicked them out Now what the heck was that about? Dogs We're talking about dogs Dogs them poor little dogs, talking about big dogs, uh-huh, talking about a little dog, oh yeah, chasing the ball, chasing the cat, digging the hole, things like that, dogs, we're talking about dogs, laughing dogs, sad dogs, happy